hello and welcome to the show. We are here today on GTA 5 with a very special guest. We have got Neological here. From across the pond. Hey, yeah. how's it going, man? Ah, it's not too bad. How are you feeling? Because, well, you're about to be hunted by this lot of incompetent fools. I'm a little bit nervous. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't my normal game, so... <laughs> we have taken you out of your natural environment, put you into Los Santos for a Survive the Hunt. We are going you know, to... I'm to a little... I'm a little optimistic because uh, the way I do this in the game I play, you get hit once, you're done. You know? You're yeah. kind of done with. That is true. You, you make a good point. We can survive some hits, although... We have no got, guns, though. Yeah, you don't get shot at. <laughs> we have got quite a lot of people chasing us down as well today. Oh. Uh, there's a small amount of crashing going on, as expected. But yeah, we are going to be trying to survive for 24 hours yep. of GTA time. That is about 48 minutes with these lot of fools trying you to stop us. dancing on your uh, That's just there. Lado, don't worry about it. It's this <laughs> normal... I, the fact that the fact that our cars haven't exploded is good in all of this. Um, oh! oh, good <laughs> shot! 10 out of 10. Almost got Lado over the wall. Um, so if I want to kill Lado, he's in the gold jacket, right? That is the one, yeah. And it's especially important that we try and kill Lado. Uh, <laughs> Just noted. It's it's almost it's almost a guarantee during these we get Lado killed. Right, we should probably set off now. It's half past seven. Uh, we are going to begin, I guess. I'll follow your lead. Let's go. Goodbye. There you go. Uh, <laughs> I've immediately I've immediately got a wanted level and I don't quite know how. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got hit with a laser beam. Oh, you got hit. Yeah, the 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 boopy gun, the one that kind of knocks your car around. Thankfully, of course. If you've watched these videos before, you will know the weapon rules. If you haven't, I'll give you a quick rundown. Uh, so, there is no HUD. There's no name of a place. There is no map for me, for Neil, or for any of the hunters. This is all about stealth. We're going to be trying to blend in uh, with the AI. Um, the hunters are very limited to their weapons. They have only got kind of single-shot pistols. Now, they can have quite powerful ones, but they can't have any automatic weapons. We are basically weapons-free to try and take them down. Although, Neil, you've got a fairly new account, so... I haven't got quite as crazy a weaponry, but still an assault Fairly rifle. new. You could say a uh, minute old, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Was trying to get through the uh, intro while we were setting up for this. Uh, I mean, step number one is going to be change our car into something less conspicuous because a Ferrari and a heavily modified estate car do not blend in. Yeah, with... You don't see them every day, you know. Uh, no. No, and especially a bright orange estate. Uh, so we're going to want to look for something quite fast. Um, it's really I was not much. Thinking a exciting. minivan, actually. Well, so that there is another theory. So you, ah! hey, you've already been taken out by traffic. Uh, so there you is. Think we're far enough in. Yeah, we can go for it. We get a two-minute head start. Um, well, I just tend to go over to this part of the map because more cars are spawning. Uh, there's two schools of thought. So my school of thought is generally go with a fast car because if you do get spotted, you stand a better chance of getting away. You could go in a minivan because they're not going to expect one of us in a minivan. There yeah, that's a, what Earth, that's what I was thinking. You know, it's it's a sleeper build. Yeah, there is a downside though. Is if you do get spotted, you're in a world of trouble because yeah, it's not yeah, very fast. The, Ooh. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna dip around here. Go for it. I'm going to take the Schwarzer. I think it is. It is a decent, it says V12 on the badge. It's a decently powerful coupe, but it looks relatively incognito. Uh, Would you recommend the uh, Dodge Charger type thing? That's not a bad shout. That is not a bad shout at all. I've just seen you drive off. You're in the black Charger. Uh, I, See, now, I, now I blend in. Yes, now you do. I am going to change my clothes to something less distinctive than the suit. Um, thankfully, they have no idea what your character looks like, so it doesn't really matter too much for you. I'm like in the straight out of jail fit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, no, that works. Hopefully, that works. hopefully it's not too conspicuous. You can just, yeah. Uh, you, should, you should be okay because they don't know what they're looking for, um, particularly with you. Now, we have got another rule in effect today. Uh, there are roadblocks dotted around. So there's no pre's for us to explode because there's multiple of us. To keep things a little bit more simple, however, the hunters have been allowed to place the big mobile operation centers or dump trucks or armor truck or whatever blocking certain roads which most of the time won't matter too much however during a chase we do have to be a little bit careful because some roads we go down might suddenly be dead ends they can uh, pop up on you yeah exactly and also one of the other things is while we're trying to pretend to you know be traffic the ai cars get confused 
dealing with these roadblocks. So if they see a car suddenly doing sensible maneuvers to avoid them, they're going to be really suspicious. Yeah. So they know what to look for by this point. Yeah, we've done plenty of these at this stage. They have a pretty good idea of what's suspicious and what's not. We're helped by the fact that the Ooh. AI are really dumb. I'm what? Getting... Somebody just passed me, go probably on. going 150 <laughs> miles an hour. <laughs> Ah, yes, you have. So you are at the early stages of Survive the Hunt Fear, where you're not quite sure what you're looking for, but stuff is starting to go on. It'll gradually go into full-on paranoia when you aren't sure what's a hunter and what isn't. Um, when they're whizzing around at 150, that's fine, because you can at least tell that it's them. It's when they start trying to get sneaky, that's what you've got to look out for. It's also a bit unsettling seeing the blimp up above me. The blimp is weirdly terrifying. It's a it's, weird... It's ominous. It <gasps> is. Something's happened. A uh, Lado exploded in an intersection. That's what happened. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> that's Do fine. Do they often take police cars? It's, yeah, they have done in the past. Um, yeah. Oh, I, I've seen quite a few of them actually in the distance as well. Yeah, they they can and do drive around in police cars. Not all the time, but. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. No, oh, there's one in a police car definitely because it just drove past me. Um, it does happen. I think they've got a fire truck as well today, so be on the lookout for that. Um, oh, there's a genuine police car actually by me. Well, sometimes it's hard to tell if they're just crazy police AI or if it's an actual person, you know? Yeah, I mean, the best way to tell is if you can see the driver. Um, if there's two people in the car, it's definitely going to be the AI. If there's only one person, it's probably a hunter, although there's no guarantee. Oh, bloody hell, someone just jumped over me. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, an SUV just literally jumped over my car while I was waiting for the traffic lights, and then the shadow of the blimp went overhead. <laughs> that was really, that was less than fun, I'm not going to lie. And another one. Okay, I do not, I'm currently parked around um, the Life Invader offices, some of the high-end shops, and there is a lot of them around there. I would not go around that area. I don't know how well you know the GTA map at this point. Fairly, fairly well. Okay, good. Uh, you, you know roughly... I, mean, I will try and assist as much as I can um, with this, because it's kind of a little competition between us, but ideally we want both of us to survive against the hunters. It would be more fun if we could manage to have both of us survive. Uh, I do kind of want to shoot the blip, I'm not going to lie. It's miles away. Is that, like, generally regarded as a no-no? <laughs> Well, it's it's very helpful if I can. So the blimp is weirdly effective. So if we get in a car chase, for example, the blimp is very difficult to lose uh, in the chase. So if you can shoot the blimp out of the sky, it makes our life way easier. But it is a tough thing to do because the blimp has countermeasures, so it has flares, making homing rockets quite difficult to use. Uh, right. So if you want to use, so you use an RPG, it can't dodge that, but they're difficult to aim. And even whichever type of weapon you use is going to give away your position. So if you go take down the blimp, they're going to know roughly where you are. You're going to have to get out of there pretty quick. It's, I it's found one of the uh, roadblocks we were talking about. Okay, whereabouts have we got this one to deal with? This would be right by... Hold on, let me get my bearings here. I don't want to <laughs> drive too close. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get stuck in them. Do you know where... It's right next to a restaurant, Cuckatoos. Uh, I can't say I know the name particularly. No, what sort of area are we looking at? Oh. Seen them. Right next to a, a Los Santos Customs. Oh, right, okay. Okay. I actually think I am right next. I'm right. Actually, yeah, I'm right near you. On Vinewood, basically. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've just seen it because I've just turned down and ran into it. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh oh. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, so, do they have uh, somebody patrolling that or is it just kind of placed there? No, it's it's placed there to make life awkward, basically. Um, they might have. So, if, if, for example, if a hunter comes through that area, they might, for example, go and check and see what cars are doing around by it. Uh, just in case they notice, spot anyone doing something weird. Um, right. But they won't have someone just stood up in that area, because you'd work... A, they're not really allowed to camp out places, and B, perhaps more importantly, is you'd just be stood there for 40 minutes, probably not seeing anything. So... Right. It's not really effective. Uh, they are much more likely to be moving around the city. The more ground they can cover, 
the better chance they are going to see us at some point. Just knowing that there's like 15 of them. <laughs> oh, there's, 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 there's more than that. There's about 18, 19 18. of them, I think, today. Uh, oh, no. I've just found an AI standing in the middle of the road. I found an abandoned car in the middle of the road. Yeah, so the hunters will swap their cars. They'll change stuff out. Uh, so you will come across abandoned cars. Um, I'm slightly concerned. So one thing that does happen, it's, it's semi-rare. Uh, but because we're driving around quite nice cars, you do occasionally get the hunters, if they're in a smashed up car, they'll want to change and they will see our vehicles and go, oh, that's a nice oh, car. No. And they'll try and carjack you. It is not, it doesn't happen every time, but it has happened more than more than once. So yeah, keep an eye out. Uh, if you suddenly see them running towards you, it might it might not be that they've clocked onto you. It might just be they want to car. I'm watching a very silly race between a Subaru Brat and a Fiat 500. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the pink brigade were having a race. The police are getting angry. What are the police angry about? Uh, I keep seeing the blimp kind of weave between buildings <laughs> in the distance, and it's just a constant reminder. Oh, yeah, they're terrible. The, the blimp it is, it is one of those ominous, ominous searching things. And it, 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 it looks so dumb, but it is oh. amazingly effective. I just saw two of them rush past me. Yeah, I've got chaos going on over here as well. Uh, they had no idea. Yeah, we are. It looked like they were in a rush to get somewhere, though. Well, we do get this. It does happen sometimes where an AI does something weird and they think it's one of us, so they will rush over to that area to check. Um, they they will be doing that. Uh, I've very nearly got taken out by one. Am I being followed? No, I'm not. Never mind. Uh, I, I, I recognized a car. <laughs> Jesus, sorry, loads I was of cars quiet for bust. a second because I gotta run you through something that just happened. <laughs> Go for it. Uh, somebody in a pink, kind of Fiat-looking thing. Yep. Was driving the wrong way, and I was like, I was trying to think, what would the AI do? Would they try to avoid him? And I was like, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be caught this early. <laughs> but I just kept driving the speed I was going, and he drove around me, and then he turned around and drove next to me, but then drove off. So he was looking at me for yeah. a solid 10 seconds. Uh, you did, I mean, you did good. You did good to get away with that interaction. I mean, that's, that's well, I was kind of what I was trying to think, like, would the AI just drive into him, play chicken with him, or...? <laughs> it's, it's, it's surprisingly difficult now, because they've made the AI way more erratic of late, basically. Um, I have a really bad feeling I'm about to get carjacked. Uh, no, I'm not. I was getting so checked. Since you, I'm in I guess trouble. you can speak from uh, experience. Oh, you're in trouble. I'm getting my car is getting searched quite thoroughly. Uh oh, yeah, I'm in a bit of bother here. You can need to change into run mode in a second. Possibly, I might go into a different mode. Yeah, we are in trouble here. I'm going in a slightly different mode. So maybe you can make me feel better. If they do spot you, what are the chances you get away? Uh, not too bad. I mean, we're about to find out because I am in run mode now. Uh, oh, somebody, I, I'm in the same spot as you. Somebody's just parked next to me. My hope is, is that they're going to be too flustered trying to get to me that you should be okay. Uh, I've, my car is burnt. So your best bet for, for running is you gotta, you got to have to really... Uh, use buildings, try and break line of sight as, mu as well as possible. If you do have someone chasing you, uh, the blimp is busy, so you won't have to deal with that. Uh, although I don't think the blimp knows where I've gone. The blimp is searching the wrong area. Uh, it's just a bright blue SUV. Uh, I've got to get out of here. Uh, I am in tr I'm not in trouble, but how did they manage to miss all of that? Uh... Lester, buddy, I need your help. Uh, See, I can't do that. I can't use Lester. You can't use Lester, but you do have the C CEO thing that you can use that does sort of work in a similar way. Right, I'm, I'm, I've got to abandon my Schwarzer. Every time I drive a Schwarzer, it gets burnt super early and I can't do anything. It's really frustrating. Uh, I got away, by the way. He, he never made my model here. Ah, okay. I think I think it might have been quite lucky in that I got burnt as they were inspecting you, so they probably rushed to try and gather around me. Uh, I don't know where 
The, I don't know how the blimp never saw me. Hey, I really wish I could talk. I go. Where are you now? Uh, I'm at the beach. The beach, okay. I'm yeah, still. I would. Much I would avoid the beach area if I were you, because I've just abandoned a very hot car. I've uh, really. Over here. I've stayed in a pretty small circle here this whole time. <laughs> I mean, that, to be fair, that might actually help in some ways, um, because they're going to be searching all sorts of parts of the map. Uh, so yeah, if they don't see anything for a little while. They might go expand the search outwards. I I often find myself just driving around in a circle as well. You just do it yep. accidentally almost. I fucking hear cars, but... I haven't seen anything in quite a, quite a while. Yeah, Some I do. I think, they all, I think they all got dragged into the pursuit with me, um, but that is possibly the shortest pursuit I've ever had. Uh, it was why I went for the shoot at uh, I think it was Mute in the end that I killed. Why I went for the, the shoot at Mute is... Didn't have time to call him back up particularly, so... Oh, what the hell? Okay, there is a blimp parked on the motorway by the beach. They've blocked the motorway by the beach with a blimp. Just so as a the warning. the biggest roadblock ever, basically. Yeah, pretty much. I, was, I just came around a corner and I was not expecting to see that. <laughs> uh, but there we go. That is a thing. That is a thing. I've well, only seen the one roadblock so far. Yeah, I've only seen that. I've seen that and now, well, now the blimp. I've only seen two. So they do I'm on the walk of fame right now. Okay, okay. They do like to block up the, the hills, the kind of fancy houses, because that's quite difficult to give chase. I'm quite well known for going to hide up in there because it's difficult to uh, keep track of someone. But uh, so there's probably going to be some stuff up there. Uh, there's really... I was hoping something fun was going to drive into this car park and I could steal it, but... Uh, it's not. Right. I'm actually pretty close oh. to the hills. I almost want to just, 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 just check it out, you know? I mean, it's a good place. It is a good place to go. Um, if you are in need. I've got an F620 that does not break the supercar rule. It's flirting dangerously close with it. But, there we go. I don't have ever got around to using one of these. And, uh, survive the hunt. So, that's a good sign. Ooh, okay. Heart rate's just about returned to normal. That was a weird chase, but I will take it. So, to answer your question, if you do get spotted, yeah, you can get away. <laughs> it is possible. Um, the quicker, the longer a chase goes on, the harder it gets. The more right. they can, the more people they can draw into the chase, the more they can try and cut you off. Although, I will say, when they have, like, five, eight cars chasing you, they often stumble over each other. So, it's not necessarily a complete death sentence, them having, you know, a huge pack behind you because they crash into each other a lot. It's going to happen because right. there's so many cars pursuing, basically. Um, I haven't seen any of them either for a while. I don't know where the hell they are. They're plotting. Oh, that's the worst. It's the, yep. <laughs> it's the calm if before the storm. If only you could hear the other chat, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, if we hear the other chat, they're probably just talking absolute nonsense and it would be no use <laughs> to us. That's normally how it goes. Last time they had a three-minute conversation about poo. And I wish I was lying, but I'm not. Uh, I believe it, honestly. Yeah. I believe it. <laughs> you were in the discussion before we started filming. We definitely <laughs> believe that. Um, oh, there's the blimp. Uh-oh. Uh, I cannot see it at the moment. He's Why, flying low in between the buildings way downtown. Okay. So one of the things they will try, they have tried with the blimp in the past, is <laughs> hover it low over traffic and see if it freaks out. Uh, it's not always successful, but... A bright pink car, that looks suspicious. That's yeah. gotta be one of them. They have a lot of pink cars in this one, so yeah, that's definitely gonna be one of them. Uh, there is some weirdness going on around me as well. There was a Porsche doing a burnout, and now there was traffic cars acting strange, but... Huh? Yeah, sometimes it's almost hard to tell. Oh, yeah. The, the AI have got way more erratic as a, of late. The AI is way more erratic, which makes it really difficult to know when it, weird things are happening because a hunter's causing them or just the yeah. AI is weird. Um, okay, I, I must be in the uh, the thick of it now. I've seen several of them drive by me now. <laughs> uh, you found the you found the dangerous area. I'm having a nice peaceful time, really. Oh, please, please, please. <laughs> where about, the other? Whereabouts are you? I'll head over there. I am... What's this building? Kind of by a giant 
parking garage. Uh, is it a bright red garage? It's a beige. Uh, Rockford Plaza. That's it. Okay. Okay. We can we can head. Uh, I think towards and I'll, I'll see. If you I'm do end up in a chase, I will try and interfere as much as possible. Um, amazing. They are amazingly focused during a chase on the car. I could, uh, I can, you can sometimes crash into hunters giving chase to the other person and then still not notice. Would um, you sacrifice your own life so that I may live? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm not going to go that far. <laughs> but I will try and be a distraction. And I'd want to say I would do the same. Why is there a helicopter parked in the middle of the road? I've just been crashed into by an AI and my car has been damaged. Oh, you moron. Ah, crap. There was a helicopter parked, and then on the bridge above it, there was a guy just staring. Down oh, I'm in so much trouble. I'm in so much trouble. Holy crap. Have they, uh, discovered you? No. How did they not? How did <laughs> I get away with that? We are kind of getting lucky today. Because there's... There's been How several split points where I probably uh, should have been. I survived that. I think I got lucky because someone, so my car got hit by a freaked out AI, uh, or something. I don't quite know why it was pissed off, and it's damaged. But because there was so much crashing going on, it just looked like I'd been hit by one of them, and they, three of them were literally around my car, and nobody looked at it. I need wow. a new car. So if you get damage on your car, you're going to want to change. Uh, damage. Uh oh. <laughs> Bad sounds are coming there from that side. Oh, two, two of them just passed me again. One yeah. of them wiped out right next to me. There's three next to me. Oh no. They didn't see me. Yeah, we are we are getting lucky today. <laughs> I usually don't get this uh ecstatic, but <laughs> I I'm nervous. I'm shaking in my boots right now. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be as I drive towards them, I should yeah. probably not do that. Well, you see, if you try and like turn away, that's sometimes more suspicious. So you've kind of got to just go with it. Um, yeah, you know, I have hot sauce. As I was saying, uh, if you do get damage on your car, even little scratches, you want to change it. Uh, damage does not necessarily sync between players. So what might look as almost imperceivable damage on your screen could be quite heavy damage on theirs. They will check damaged cars if one suddenly appears. Um, so yeah, if your car gets okay. even a little scratch, you do want to get rid of it as soon as possible uh, Because yeah, it can be a giveaway. Uh, I can see Blimp is still hovering around the skyscrapery area Just saw another guy <laughs> and, a, and a roadblock in front of me. So if I drive around the roadblock that's suspicious right? That will be very suspicious. Okay, I mean you, you'll okay. probably see the AIs are all crashed up against it Um if if you happen to end up stuck by a roadblock and you can see hunters around, just join the AIs in getting confused by it, and then when the hunters leave, quickly turn around and get out of there, basically. Okay. Um, because even if... I think the AI do sometimes figure out a way around them, but that car, if it gets around, it is going to be searched. And, yeah. <laughs> you will have trouble in blending in well enough. Uh, although we have done remarkably well at somehow surviving. <laughs> I'm still there's they're just there's a new guy passing me every couple seconds. <laughs> no, like. you you are in the dangerous part of the map. Yet uh, they apparently. still just drive right on by. Uh, are you still in the uh, buffalo that you started with? Or have you changed? Yeah, I'm still in the same car. Okay, I, I haven't been hit yet. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's it's, it's kind of a good it's a good car to have. Um, I don't know what sort of car. Oh. I found the little yellow just, and pink. I feel yeah. like I've used a lot of my luck and it's going to run out. <laughs> oh, that happens. That will happen in a Survive the Hunt. We've both used many, many lucks in this one so far. Um, I've got uh, I've got an SUV checking traffic. Uh, I've got no way of avoiding this SUV. Oh, no, I have got a way of avoiding this SUV that's checking traffic. That's fine. I'm going this way. I am going to the hill. Oh, they've blocked the hills. Oh, <laughs> crap. <laughs> I was just... Oh, I got the blimp above me. Uh-oh. Uh, bugger, there is no way out of this. Tell me where you are and I can head that way. Uh, I'm in the hills, but I'm in trouble. Not, I'm not in trouble because there's no one here. 
but there's, there is very, very difficult to get out of here. And if a hunter turns up, I'm screwed. Because they've been, the, the, the roadblock has been super effective, and I've got to try... But, uh, thankfully, no one's turned up. Yep, sorry, AI. All is fine. Yeah, the hills are kind of out of uh, commission, I think. So I can't hide there? No, I, I, I have a feeling they might have blocked <laughs> a lot of the roads up to the hills. They've got Do we know how many roadblocks they have down? Uh, I don't. We, we don't know. Uh, I'm going to guess they probably have ten, about. Uh, but, yeah, I, we have no idea for sure. We've come across about four. Uh, there's probably still a few. I, I suspect almost all the roads up to the hills are going to be blocked. Because that is a... Or they might have left one because they might want us to go up there and then get stuck being unable to leave. That would also be very mean, but quite effective way to... Uh, very, yeah. Uh, to cause us grief. But yeah, I would be I would be wary about running to the hills as it stands. Uh, but yeah, that was super lucky in that the bloody hunters didn't didn't investigate the hills at the time I was heading up there. Christ! Uh, I just saw I'm, the hunters take out a guy on a motorcycle. Oh <laughs> yeah, I've I have run away as a bike too many times, and if they see a bike, they are pretty much guaranteed to knock it over. Uh, oh, no. Because the chances are it's not me, but bikes are so difficult to catch when they're fleeing they will probably knock over every single one possible. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't really cost them anything. It's easy to do. And, yeah, there's no real downside. Uh, I have got one of them with a police car at the moment. Oh, no, I scratched my car. Okay, so I need to get a new car then. Yeah, so I would recommend changing. I mean, you don't have to, like, instantly drop it, but as soon as it is safe to do so, you probably want to get a, another decent performance car. Definitely see hunters about, but I'm I'm still kind of in the danger zone, so I'm scared to run. So yeah, the problem you get is when you are like swapping, actually getting out of your car is dangerous. At the end of the day, being in a damaged car is going to get you investigated, but you know the animation to get into a car is also a very big giveaway. Why is he getting out of his car? I'm on foot right now, and he got out of his car right in front of me. Okay, he got back in though. Okay. <laughs> I, th I thought he was going to start shooting. I mean, we have got better weapons than them, so if if it comes oh. down to a firefight, a 1v1, we have a fairly sizable advantage. We don't necessarily have an advantage when they've May got 10 See, I'm v1. thinking maybe he did know it was me, but he knows that I have a better weapon. It is possible. So this is a strategy they have used before, is that they don't want to engage us a 1v1 because it's a, it's a really bad matchup. Uh, so they do sometimes retreat to call back up in. Uh, if they think they've made us, they can occasionally... It's difficult to do, but they can occasionally um, retreat and um, sort of call some more cars over to investigate rather than risk spooking you when there's only one person there. Right. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> and this is the thing about Survive the Hunt. You've got the paranoia going on, uh, which all guests have had of is this something suspicious is this supposed to happen what the hell do i do um so yeah we're hitting all the stages of survive the hunt fear i just stole a car and i think somebody may have seen me down the street uh oh that would be less than ideal whereabouts are you i mean i i, I don't know it's it's kind of like a rundown part of town okay yeah i don't know oh he oh he definitely knows it's me <laughs> Wait, well, see if he turns, if he turns here, you can. If, if he turns here, I'm running. Fair enough. He you turned. Can... I'm running. Right, go. <laughs> oh no 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 no. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm like in the middle of downtown, right next okay. to the the park with all the cubes. You know. Oh yeah, square squares. I know where. I will head over. Yeah. I will try and get over that way as best as possible. We'll Should I run them in a circle bit. here? Uh, I wouldn't, because they'll just bring more and more cars in. Uh, I will try and head towards you. Oh, yeah, there, there's definitely... No, the Hunter's just shot Ooh. off. I'm in uh, kind of like a, a... The Porsche SUV. Okay. Yeah, they're not terrible. A fa Fathom? Uh... What, are you, oh, what is it? Uh, That's how I would describe it, like a Porsche SUV. Yeah, I know. I've forgotten the name of it um, all of a sudden, but I do know the one you mean. The Blimp is not heading towards you at the moment. The blimp is by the beach. I got two, I got two on me. Okay. I am... 
They're oh, I just made them crash into each other. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, <laughs> get as Run. far as oh crap! They have an armored police car. Uh, they have an armored police car. My 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 time might be numbered here, man. <laughs> I I'm trying to get to you, but I've got to I've got to be a very good AI because an armored police car. Oh! Oh my god! I'm like, okay, they're all on me. They're all on me. Oh, oh. no. Uh, what I can do to try and help you at this point. Oh uh, no. <laughs> oh keep, no. Keep going. I'm do not stop. Keep going. I'm so okay. I was being carried for. Okay, they're taking shots at me now. Yeah, uh, if you hold, uh, I'm not sure what button, control has any buttons, but if you hold A or something, there's a button that ducks when you're behind the wheel, you lose a little bit of control of the car, but it oh, might stop no. you getting so shot. Somebody hit the tire. Oh, okay. Your best bet might be try and find a river, <laughs> throw the car in the river, and swim away, because I, I don't think you understand the predicament. <laughs> I, mean, I, I have like ten people on top of my car. Uh, that's that's bad. Where, where are you? I'm trying to get to you. Uh, <laughs> I'm by the car wash. Okay. Hands I'm off the, car wash. I'm on the way, but it's going to be Oh, this is, this is bad. If you can try and aim for the... I'm blocked like, in. I'm blocked in. I'm uh, dead. I'm dead. Uh, I'm dead. Oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I am surprised I lasted that uh, long. Oh, my goodness. I lasted hell. 32 minutes, though. You did pretty good. I mean, we got well over halfway into that one. Um, okay, so I need to get to my apartment. Yeah. So when yeah when when we have someone eliminated, oh, they've left a helicopter in the middle of the motorway. Or motorway Is there an there. easy way to get there? Uh, not really. You can you can like turn your map and stuff back on now, and um, follow that. But oh bloody hell, I've just seen the remnants of your chase turn up. It it was bad. <laughs> it was ugly. Oh good god, loads of cars have just driven like. All, yeah, pretty much everyone that was on you has just gone back past, has gone past me. Uh, that was about eight of them. Yeah, I was completely the wrong side of the city to come and help. If I could have got there in time, I could maybe <laughs> have done something. The amount of people that was on me, honestly, I don't think there was much you could do. Yeah, I mean, the one thing that I could have done is if I turned up and actually started killing them, they will generally sh uh, scatter, because... If they stay and fight and I can ambush them, I can take out a lot quite quickly. So it would probably freak them out enough, but I'd have to be in the right place at the right time. Right. And when when you're so far away uh, across the city, it is difficult to uh, to get there. So I, I, I wonder if perhaps one of them did see you and before immediately alerting you, sort of called some people over so that when the chase started, they had multiple cars there ready. I'm uh, fairly sure that uh, they saw me carjack somebody. Ah, uh, yeah, that'd do it. That that one would do it. Uh, I don't see. Where's my house? Friends? Uh, can I use a friend's apartment? No idea. <laughs> uh, you might have the TV in the office thing. I'm not sure. Oh, all the AIs have started running away. That's concerning. Where's my Don't like it when all the AI pedestrians freak out. That makes me suspicious Never that something's sign. going on. No, some, I didn't hear or see anything, but the fact that they all suddenly started running away at the same time is suspicious. I'm kind of surprised, though, when, when you got in trouble. The blimp didn't really seem to head over your direction. I mean, I didn't, didn't, couldn't follow it completely, but it did seem to have... It seems to be the complete wrong side of the map, but that is how it goes. Sometimes they can't get everything in in every chase. Uh, it's 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 crazy because I thought it was ju I was just gonna have to outrun the one guy, and within ten seconds <laughs> there was like ten people yeah. surrounding me. As unorganized as the hunters often appear, occasionally they have, uh, you know, the, the the one brain cell works properly, and they can actually get very effective all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, I suspect they managed to call enough cars over to be ready for that chase. And that's In why... In hindsight, I kind of wish I would have just got out the car and just taken out as many as I could have. <laughs> I kind of wish I... It's definitely one way to go. As I said, if you can kill... To help you... you. Well, I mean, that does, that does help. But I mean, if you can kill enough of them in quick succession, they can actually... You can get them to scatter, basically. Right. 
Uh, because, as I said, they, they know they're down on firepower, so they don't want to shoot out where, you know, you, you've got the jump on them, because we'll take out loads of them. Uh, you can take out a good four or five of them very quickly with machine guns. So, yeah, it, it's, it's one of those difficult ones that, you know, you could have got out of the, you know, maybe you could have got out of the car and, and started shooting at them. Uh, it does work. I actually, with the first chase I had here, I, I got away because I got out and shot the car that was following me. Um, and then they didn't have time to get back up in. But you also run the risk, you get out of the car, you can then be shot quite easily as well. You're quite vulnerable. Uh, but yeah, by the sounds of it, once you get like, once you've lost a tyre and have multiple cars chasing you, unless you can ditch <laughs> it. And the, the, the only real way I think I could ever get away from that is throw it in the ocean and yep. swim. That's, your, that's the only real chance you get at that point because your car will be so slow uh, with a tyre down that, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's tough. That's, that's such a difficult predicament to be in. Once the um, tire was gone, I knew it was probably all over. Yeah, I don't think I've... I don't know if I've ever got away with having had a tire down. I think if I have, it would have been from a ditch it kind of a scenario. Um, I mean, the other things you could do with a tire loss, if, again, it, all, it really depends on where you are on the map, but you could. I've never done it successfully but I have wondered whether it would work is if you found like a really narrow alleyway if you sort of like handbrake turned your car at the last second and kind of blocked the alleyway up and got out and ran right. could work it's it's a theory that it could work it's super risky because if, if they manage to push through the car suddenly you're on foot while they've got cars behind you and will run you over right. but yeah, it could it could work um, I have seen a hunter I don't know where they are I saw the blimp go off at quite high speeds looking for something. So when I'm just trying to get somewhere back to my office, should I drive it conspicuously or inconspicuously? Oh, it, does, it, does, it doesn't matter now. Um, I don't want him can... to kill me again. <laughs> uh, you could go in passive mode, actually. That will uh, notify them that uh, you are out of the game. So it's under the interaction menu. Oh, police. Don't do that. Uh, but yeah, you could set yourself into passive mode, so then they'll not be able to kill you anyway. I'm heading uh, back to the office so I can uh, spectate. <laughs> yeah, you can have a look around and see what's... I mean, you're not allowed, of course, you're not allowed to tell me where the hunters are and so on. But you can sort of watch my perspective and see what right. craziness uh, I'm having to deal with. Um, there's, they've definitely got a police car. I saw them, they had a big armoured truck at one point. Oh, so be, uh, is around. be real with me, did I last longer than you thought I would? You did pretty well. You did pretty well. I mean, you lasted over half the time. That is a good start, uh, especially considering someone less familiar with console and, uh, let's say, less familiar with GTA, perhaps. Uh, yeah, that is not a bad not a bad showing at all. I think you got a little bit unlucky uh, with your chase in some regards. Uh, but yeah, having that many... Oh. Oh, dear. No. Uh-oh. So Keep to driving. You, I sit and watch uh, TV? Yeah, if you sit and watch TV, you should be able to select. Uh, it should come up with like a playlist, and then you can click on uh, the game tag. I, I very nearly had one of them. I, it, I, I had to slam my brakes to not drive into the side of one of them, and then they turned around at a junction. It looked like they were going to come and check, but then they turned off in a different direction. Christ, that was very close. Still got demon eyes driving around. Yeah, oh yeah, they are murdering every bike they see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I am no. not. I am not getting on a bike. Wow, they have. They must really think I'm on a bike because I have just watched Blakey absolutely annihilate a bike and then <laughs> knocked the person off the bike and then ran them over twice just to make sure. <laughs> uh, they so really don't get on a bike. If they don't get it. on a bike. <laughs> like, so what will happen is I, I think I had a bike recently as a getaway vehicle, which is why they're checking it. And in about four months' time, they will have forgotten about it, and then I'll do it again. And then we'll be in trouble. And I'm about to. Uh, did I about to be? No. I thought they were about to go and check my car. Looks so like. So you're, you're in a. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is a Zion. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's relatively quick and it's relatively inconspicuous. Uh, so at this stage in the game, you're getting quite, you're getting quite low on time. If I have an opportunity to get a supercar, I will. Uh, so we have the rule whereby the hunters aren't allowed in supercars uh, unless we happen, if we drive one. So if I get in a, a Comet or something, um, 
then the hunters can equally get in faster cars. So we don't really want to go to supercars unless necessary, because you don't have to deal with really fast cars the whole game. But at this stage right. of the game, you know, oh, if I get in a supercar now, well, I'll probably only have a short chase before the time runs out. They won't have time to get themselves into high-end cars. So they're probably not necessarily searching Zions at the moment. See, that's a very high IQ way of thinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's... it's. I guess you learn these things when you do it a bunch. Yeah, I mean, it's the game of kind of bluffing and duff double bluffing and trying to figure out what the hunters are going to be thinking and all of that kind of stuff. Um, they will probably be expecting... I, I think they will be expecting me to be in a supercar at this point because we're running out on time. You're out of the game, so it's almost like I might as well do it. Right. Um, you, have so to, might... you have to win this to avenge me, you know. Yeah. Oh, this blimp is weirdly broken traffic. I don't actually know if I want to go out that side. I'm just going to turn around the blimp. <gasps> oh, no, never mind. I. Oh. Uh-oh. I thought there was... So there's a bright blue SUV that I've seen around, and I looked at the line of traffic, and I, I had a heart attack because I saw the bright blue car <laughs> and thought, oh, no, they've seen me do a U-turn. And they didn't. Blakey's just sent me a text. See, they, they, they do sometimes send text messages. Apparently Blakey has decided to text me saying he's not a cat. And Longbow has texted me to say, give us your plate number. I'm not going <laughs> to give you the plate <laughs> number. There's, if, they're, if they're looking close enough to see the number plate on my car, I'm already screwed at that point. You want my so, social too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine. Can we have bank details? And Don't forget the, the three stuff? numbers on the back. That's the one. Here we go. Yeah, all of that stuff. That's important. Uh, are you a hunt? No, you're just a random exemplar. See, that happened to me a lot, and I it scared me so much. Yeah. <laughs> Paranoid. I was like, oh. is it just bad AI? Or? Yeah. Yeah, that, that does happen. Uh, I'm tempted to steal this exemplar. So do we know how much time you, need, you have left? Yeah, so half seven is when the game finishes. It is half three at the moment, so we've got a little bit of time to go. Uh, I would like this exemplar, but I don't really want to try and steal it on the motorway because the AI sometimes freak out when I don't want to cause a scene. Uh, can I stop? I can also hear sirens. Where the hell are they coming from? It's Could been like a constant this whole time. Yeah, I mean, I know they, they have got more emergency vehicles than they normally have. So, it's quite possibly... Uh, I got ran over by a tank, basically, at one point. <laughs> yeah, they have, an armored, they have an armored car. I don't know who got that one. This exemplar doesn't want to stop, and I don't want to... I don't want to shoot at it or anything stupid. Oh, wait, it might get stuck in traffic up here. This is a bit unnecessary, but I feel like every advantage I can get, because if if we get kind of spotted with very little time to go, they will throw everything at us. Right. And yeah, they're, they're now going to be at the slightly more panicky stage, uh, because... Uh, actually, did I just dink back at the exemplar? Because they're, they're now, like they, it, yeah. they know they're running out of time. Oh, I did. I scratched it. Crap. Uh, you know what? I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk that they won't notice the scratch for a faster car. We haven't got much time to go, and I think I'd rather have a faster car for the end of this. <laughs> uh, I also if you need to run. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm like, they're, they're, they're gonna, something's going to give okay. at some so point. I have, I have a question for you, actually. Go for it. Have you ever been in the heat of a chase right when the clock ticks over? Yes. Yeah, so if the time runs out, we win. Um, various so it doesn't, it doesn't matter if they've already made, made you... Yeah, doesn't matter. If they can't stop me by the end, as long as I get to the time, uh, then I have won. Although there are we have had various different rule sets for this. We've had a rule set whereby I have to... like At the end of the time, I then have to escape or I have to complete a certain amount of objectives rather than being time-based. Okay, okay. So there can be a bunch of different, more complicated rule sets uh, going on. Uh, depending on, but this one is the, the most. This is the straightforward. This is the classic survive the hunt experience. Um, you whereby, threw me yeah. straight into the fire, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we could have made it a lot more difficult. We could have had silly tasks for you to try and complete. <laughs> uh, we could have we could have dotted around cars for you to blow up that will give away where you are. You threw uh, me right into your flagship. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. Uh, 
I was going to try to shoot down the blimp at the end, but I don't, I don't even can't even see the damn thing. Uh, oh, it's the other. That it, it was hanging around it. downtown for the most part. It seems to still be there, really. It's bloody miles away. Uh, oh, do you want to go out with a bang or with a win? <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the viewers will want to see me take out a blimp at the end of the day. What are you doing, AI? But I think I think that might have to be something you'll have to try. Oh crap! There is a hunter directly behind me. Oh. Oh no. Uh oh. What would the air? Uh oh. Yeah, yeah, just shoot him. <laughs> oh, crap. It didn't want to pull out the gun properly, which I don't quite know why it didn't want to pull out the gun properly. But, uh, that's frustrating. Whoa! Oh. Uh, it's fine. Nothing to see here. They have got cars on the motorway already. Crap, I was trying to be clever. Uh, but they've already got enough cars out here. Oh, Demon Eyes is here. Ooh. Oh, a little bit laggy on that one. <laughs> but we're through. Never mind. Keep going, keep going, keep going, so keep going. what's the strat? What's the strat? Uh, well, the strategy at the moment is get some speed up. This car is fast, so they will not quite have the performance. Uh, don't drive towards all the hunters that are about to join the chase. That will be strategy number one. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, not the truck. Don't want the truck. Oh, that's a lot of cars. All of a sudden turned up. Bloody hell. They have got so many in this area right now. Uh, they have, they've got so many they can just yeah. swarm an area really effectively. As, okay. I, as I learned earlier, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they are they are swarming. Whoa. Oh, thank you for the push There's start. There's a blimp. Blimp is here. You know what? The blimp is least of current concerns. Current concerns are massive, heavy truck. Uh, oh, this is going to be a bit sketchy. I think you got him in speed, though. I will have I will have the yeah I'll have the top speed on the truck. Uh, oh god, got to be careful of traffic, of course. Don't want to run into that. I want the truck to run into traffic though. Uh, oh, don't lose the back end. God, I really wanted to let go through there. Truck is having some issues. I mean, I've got size on my side as well a little bit. Whoa, hello. Uh, Plunge of hunters just turned up. Uh, all right, I'm gonna dive through these. Oh, there's so many cars giving <laughs> chase. It's like uh, a movie. <laughs> well, that's that's the idea behind it. I'm going to get T-Bone any second now. The sun's coming up, though. Yeah, I mean, we haven't got too long to go. I, I, am, I have a horrible feeling this might be a ditch it into the ocean technique at some point. Oh, that's bad. That's good. They do, they, yeah, they knocked you back on the tires. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. You can go oh. into the tunnel. Uh -oh. uh -oh. I cannot go into the tunnels here. My hope is... <laughs> ah, there's no way. I don't know how they got so many over there so quick. That's insane. If I could have... Uh, it wouldn't even matter. It's, it's like a swarm. Yeah. I don't know how they got so many into that so fast. That is ridiculous. Um... Yeah, there's nothing you can do about that. It's absolutely <laughs> the fact that, to be fair, the fact that I survived as long as I did was quite surprising. Um, so, uh, what gave you away there? Could have been the scratch on the car. Uh, I think he the other possibility pulled up in front of you, didn't he? Yeah, I mean, the other possibility is, as I said, it was a high-end car that they hadn't seen very many of. It was late in the game. I was so close as well. I only had like an hour to go before I would yep. have won as well. Those are uh, the worst. Yeah, I, I think it might have just been the fact that it was a high-end car at the towards the end of the game, and they thought we might as well check it. Um, so, yeah, I could maybe have gotten away if I'd just not reacted and just driven off. Might have been fine, but, you know, you don't know these things. Uh, we were trying the tactic of just get out and shoot. Sadly, it yep. just didn't want to pull out the gun for reasons, but uh, even then, yeah, there's always no guarantee it's going to be a perfect shot. Uh, the idea. They were brutally effective. They were very, brutally effective very on that scary one. even. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tried everything, but was just not quite enough. But uh, how did you enjoy your first experience of Survive the Hunt? Well, after I changed my pants, I think I would say <laughs> the, the experience overall was uh, pretty fun. Ah, I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. You went through all the stages of being scared and paranoid uh, <laughs> quite successfully. I avoided the... Uh, Denial phase and the anger phase somehow though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got past, you got past those ones. Uh, <laughs> I think, I think the, it was mostly acceptance when you saw ten cars behind yep, you. It was like, yep. well, <laughs> this is this is the end. Um, you, you just get a, a feeling in your gut. You're, well, I'm not making it. That's it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I'm a realist. 
Yeah, that's the one. Uh, we both had pretty similar deaths at the end of that. Swarmed and shot at. Yeah, pretty much. Well, there we go. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you very much, uh, Neil Jekyll, for joining. Uh, this has been an awful, awful lot of fun. You, you uh, know I have to send an invite your way to join me on <laughs> our car hunts now, though, right? <laughs> oh, I'm always up for it. I'm always up for trying to get away. I'm always up for that. Uh, I will, of course, be a link to uh, Neil's channel in the description if you want to go and check out his, uh, his content. That, though, is going to be it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Until next time, a uh, goodbye.